21052. Hey, by the way, we have some yard bags that we were showing you. Uh, these are a customer pick with almost every review. Perfect five star. This is from Improvements. It's our heavy duty home and yard bags. You get two. Don't buy those bags at the store, all right, that say yard bags. They, they, they're one and done. You're gonna have these for years. I bought mine three or four years ago, still got them. I use them for firewood, sticks, branches. Danny uses them as a laundry bag. You get two of them for $24.95. All right. We are moving into our next hour, everybody. And you wow. got mail. Fantastic. We got some mail here. So we asked the question, um, and I'll I'll pop it out again. Our question of the day was, you didn't give me the question. What is your favorite critter in the garden? I think that's the that's that was our question, right? So my sweetheart Anita, she knows I love her, says uh, it's hard to pick one. She loves cardinals, she likes bunnies, and she likes hummingbirds, and she also has kittens. She has kitties, so she says I love my kitties. Diana says I like seeing rabbits because they're adorable, and Brooke, hi Brooke. Brooke says I love birds. I put seed out of my feeders to attract them. My dogs, on the other hand, love the squirrels. Yeah, I feel you there. I got my dog goes crazy for squirrels. She likes to chase them across the fences and up the trees. We will let you know which one of you wins a $25 gift card coming up a little bit later. All right, my pick of this hour is our Sunjo pressure washer. So this is an 1800 PSI pressure washer. It's our hot deal price. This is one of the fanciest ones that we own. I love the cart design. I love that so much. I think that's fantastic. Stands on its own. It comes with five different nozzles um, of various degrees so that you can utilize the water. <clears throat> it comes with a soap tank. It is on sale. It's $90 off today. And their shipping was $19.95. They dropped the shipping down to $9.95. If you want to order it, it's my pick of the show. Time to clean up your house. Driveways, decks, patios, pool area. You can do it with a pressure washer. All right. So let's talk about Bell and Howell. Bell and Howell brings us our disc lights, and they are the most amazing lights on the planet. This are Bell and Howell's stone or slate disc lights, which to me are the best of the best. Because not only are they gorgeous when they come on at night, these are beautiful even during the day with that gorgeous slate. One looks like tile, and then the other one looks like stone, like actual, like somebody built a stone wall for you. Everybody that orders is gonna get eight of these, they are a weekly deal drop, so we drop the price. They are beautifully designed. They look gorgeous during the day, and then at nighttime, check that out. My good friend, Lou Caputo, from Bell & Howell, amongst other places. <laughs> other places. Uh, Lou is uh, one of our best guests, our, our favorite guys. You've been, you've been here as long as I have. Yeah. I don't, I don't know a, a host. I don't even know many customers who don't love these. our disc lights, yeah. these especially. Well, and, and you know, what's interesting about these though is we took our standard disc lights. In fact, I'll show you. This is where we started years ago, yeah. okay? That's the original disc light that we sold here. Uh, it's stainless steel, as you can see right there, and it only has four little LEDs. For the time, that was actually really great, okay? The new ones eight LEDs and they've made them out of this really heavy resin that looks exactly like stone or slate, whichever one you want to buy. Now, just so you understand the difference, this one, the gray one here is stone and this one is the slate that I'm wiggling right there, okay? So you've got stone, you've got slate. Now, you can use these two different ways. The first way you can use these is you can just set them flat on their back on, a, on any flat surface, on the ground, on a table, uh, stairs, wherever you want to put them. The second way, though, is that you use the included stakes that we give you, okay? And you're gonna get one stake for each of these, so you're getting eight of these stakes, and you can stake it into the ground that way if you want to. But, guy, the big deal with these is they are up lighting, and what that means is instead of like your normal solar lights, they just throw a little circle, on the ground, anything above these are going to get beautifully lit with that up light. Look at the look at the shots that we have over here. We show you. I don't forget we still have lights on in the studio. Yep. These to me are the most beautiful way to kind of decorate your yard without actually having to do any work. Yeah, agreed. I mean, Lou and I are in agreement on that. Oh yeah. <laughs> you want to talk about an instant makeover? An instant transition from like uh, just kind of a cold sort of a looking yard to a beautiful, something gorgeous, warm, yeah. inviting. And these are uplighting. So these lay on the ground and they're gonna actually light 
everything that's above. So all your plants, um, it could be the wall in your house. It could be an area around a pool, it could be a fountain, your mailbox, your driveway. Yeah. These are gonna light upwards versus most, a lot of the solar lights that we have just light the ground up. That's right. But these actually cast this beautiful, these will make your house glow at night. No, they do. Your, your plants, your trees. Well, I mean, and here's the thing about having an uplight outside your house, okay? You spend a lot of time uh, making your house have what we call curb appeal, right? So when people see it during the yeah, daytime, like, right. oh my God, it looks amazing. This is gorgeous. Then at night, what happens? Well, there's no light. They can't see any of your work. It's gone. It just looks like this black hole down the street. Maybe there's some lights coming out of your windows, but that's about it. What these lights are going to do for you is they're going to enhance all those features so that even at night, architectural features will stand out. If you have any statuary on your property, trees, plants, you know, anything you've got out there. I have a fire pit in my backyard, and I've got four of them around Perfect. the fire Perfect. pit. And my fire pit is actually stone that's, yeah. that it's around, and they blend in so well. They just sit yeah. there, they look great. I like them because when you're walking outside, like what you're seeing right here, if you've got pa a paver patio, you've got something like that, when you put these out there, it, it's not like when we used to have the stainless steel ones, which I still love, and I still actually do have some of these, but the problem is that they stand out way more than I think they should. When you get the slate or you get the stone, they blend and they look yeah. really, even on the grass, they just look naturally, look like they belong there. Well, and they, they I'm fairly sure they have more LEDs than, oh, than, the, than uh, the other ones as started well. Started with four, we yeah. got eight now in these, eight. that's a lot. So you get more bang for your buck. Well, and the other thing too is they feel very, very substantial when you feel yeah. them. I mean, this is a yeah. very high quality, heavy resin that's on these. So when you feel this, it has a lot of heft to it. Now, the other thing is, Guy was talking about this a minute ago, when you want to set these up, you're either going to put them on the stakes, you're going to throw them down, you know, flat on the ground on their back there. That's the entire set. Up. There's one switch on the back that you've just got to throw that switch one time. Once you do that, the light is going to be self-regulating. So when it gets dark out, they're going to shut off. When it gets light out, they're going to, uh, but rather when it gets dark out, they'll turn on. And if it gets light out, they're going to shut off. But what do they do during the day? They just get that free energy from the sun. Yeah. There's no batteries you ever have to replace. And, and I, you know, there's no wiring I've got to do. I don't have to hire an electrician. There's none of that going on. I'm not digging any trenches. You put in low voltage lighting before, right? Oh, God, yeah. You know what I mean? I did it. Arizona where it's, the ground is like and, cement. And isn't it miserable? Ugh, it's terrible. the most miserable thing in the world. Well, and, and you remember the bulbs? The oh, bulbs? I do. You had to replace the bulbs. They get hot. Hot. Yep. They steam. When, when it rains. When I was living in Arizona, yes. the sprinkler would go on and you would see steam all in the yard. And I'm like, it's from the halogen lights. Yeah, that's exactly what that is. And those lights would burn out because they use regular, it's a halogen light, so it's using heat right. to, to create that incandescent look. These, it's LED. Right. They never get hot. They never steam. They don't burn to create energy. All right, it's a diode inside. It's, diff it's different technology. Whole different thing. And they last forever. Forever. When, I mean, when you think about it, having to run wires and having to set timers, you know, we just had daylight savings time. Yeah. Who cares? It doesn't affect these lights. Nope. They turn on when it gets dark. They don't care what time it is. Yep. They turn on automatically. Also, they're safe around water features, yep. which a lot of electrical lighting is not. You really can't have them. Well, it's right. funny you say that about them being self-regulating without a timer, because I've got some outside lighting on my soffits yeah. that come down, and the, the last couple months, all I'm doing is just changing that timer like every week, making it go on yep. later and later and later. And, you know, and that's one of the big benefits of solar lighting is there's nothing you have to do. The installation's super easy. There's no maintenance on them and if you've got solar lights like these really think about picking up some disc lights getting some up lights out there because honestly when you see the difference between what the down light looks like and the guy was saying if you want to know what your pavement looks like what your grass looks like at night then go with this okay because it's going to give you that nice circle on the ground but if you want to have something that's going to enhance the features of your house any statues you've out there bird baths trees you know like I said I've got them around my fire pit it's great for that you know the one thing we're not talking about though guy is like how you can use these in other ways than just for yeah. decorating outside of the house for, and leaving them out there because you can use these like I do uh, with an outside living room set I'll put them on the tables out there because yeah. it's enough light that it'll light up the people that sure. are sitting out there talking but it's not like having a floodlight or no. some, something intrusive out there I like them on stairwells out oh they're there, awesome outside for that stairs yep um, especially if you've got stairs like on a deck or near a pool or anything right. like that where it could be slippery you want to be able to illuminate that you do all right let me show you everything you're going to get because this kit, 
This is this kick butt kid. There's really a lot in huge. here. Yeah. Everybody gets eight. You have your choice, okay? They come in what we call the slate, and then they also come in what we call the stone. Stone. So this is the stone, mm -hmm. which is, I believe that's the most popular right now. And you can sort of see. It looks like rock. It looks, yeah, it just looks like rock. And when I cover, I'll cover that panel. See the lights come on? You can see, it's kind of tough there. If you come in close, you'll sort of see. It's a little bright out here. Yeah, yeah I yeah. see it, there you go. On your you hand, you can see it, it right yeah, there. They're, they're turning on. Yep. So that's the big giant solar panel in the center. Huge. Eight of these, you also get, put that one up over there, I think. Yep. You also get the stakes. So if you want, you take one of these, you pop it on like that. So you easy. You can stake it into the ground. Right. You don't even really have to do that. You can just lay them on the ground if you want. Yep. This over here is the slate, all right? I love these because it's kind of a multicolor and slate yeah. with that kind of rose color and yellow. Uh, and you'll see what's great about them. No two are alike. They're very, very different and unique. They didn't just punch these out. No, they didn't. They actually have different tones. And my different, pavers look like those, look actually. Different colors. Yeah. See right there? So, uh, yeah, I know. That's what my pavers look like. My yeah, pavers yeah. look exactly yeah. like that. So like, I put, put them out there. They blend right in with it, which is nice. Well, it's, 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 our price is 49 It's $12 For off. For eight of them. Eight. For eight of them. I, see, I thought this originally, I thought this was going to be a six pack. It's eight. If you want to get them, a lot. no charge, right. get a brand new HSN credit card today. We will put $40 in your account, and you can use that on anything. This is 30, what, $37.99? So you'd have to pay maybe a dollar or two yeah. tax or shipping. Yeah, at but the you're most. But still, you're going to get them. And if you've never tried them, this is a great They're set They're really well made. Yeah. Well, and, you know, and the other thing about these too is, you know, I was mentioning before about putting on tabletops. Um, if you put a vase on these outside at night, let's say you're having a barbecue and people over something like that, these make an amazing centerpiece too, you know, just because you've got that up lighting that's going to go in there. Um, drink coasters, I do that all the time with these because I think that's kind of a fun thing to do with them. This right here, this application, Guy was talking a minute ago. Look how beautiful that looks around that hot tub, around that pool deck. You couldn't do that. If you wanted to install lighting after the fact on your pool deck, do you have any idea how much money that would cost? It's insane. This is a good way to do it. See what he's doing there, guy, along the driveway? He, yeah. Now, in my opinion, he's got those kind of close, and I'll tell you why. I always stake mine out about two paces apart. Yeah, so my too. paces are probably close to three feet. When I walk out there, and you've got enough with these four to do both sides of your driveway, probably, if you've got an average size Easily. driveway. Uh, yeah. The entire uh, a huge fl uh, flower bed, you could do that with these as well. I love putting it around things. Look at that. Look, I mean, that come on. before and after. Come on. Look at that. It's ridiculous. That look right there on the pool deck yeah. by the water. Look how great that looked. And you know, Lou, if you hired somebody to come out and do these jobs, yeah. like said, hey, listen, I want you to light up the uh, all the exterior and, and the perimeter of my pool area. Right. Hey, there's 2,500 bucks. They're going to ask you if you hit the lottery. Yeah. I'm telling you, just yeah. because that's, well, and we were talking about after the fact. If you've already got your pool installed and you want to add lighting to it, it, good luck Forget with that. It. I had a yeah, neighbor. Crazy. It was one of my favorite stories. I had a neighbor, got a new driveway, paver driveway put in, yeah. and they have pavers that they can put in that are clear glass, right? And they have lights inside of them. Spencer. Huge money. So he, it looked amazing <laughs> when he got it done. But then the lights started to burn out, and I was like, hey, how do you replace those bulbs? He's like, I have no idea. I yeah. don't know. You know what it's like? It's like replacing the light in your microwave oven. Exactly. You have to take the entire the microwave whole oven. I've done that. Out. I've done it. Because it's in a panel yep. above yep. the interior. Yeah. I found that out and I was like, Mine's well, mounted like, under the cabinet. Like I'm microwaving in the dark. <laughs> That's right. For the rest of my life. That's right. So I don't want to mess with you. You never have to deal with that. No. Everybody gets a weekly deal drop, which means it's not going to last. This is a great, and by the way, there's no season for these. You don't have to take these in in the winter. No. Leave them out, just dust them off, and yeah. they get snow on them. Well, you know, okay, so here's a, here's a fun thing, though. One of the coolest things about these is I've seen them. My mom has some up in New York. Yeah. So when they're under the snow at night, they, gl they glow under the snow, and it's this most amazing. Now, you do have to clear them off eventually because they need to see the sun to be able yeah. to, like, recharge. But the look is amazing. At night, yeah. I wish I could do I, I've got water. I could spray these all day long, but we, right. don't, we can't bring the lights down out here, can we? No. no. All right. So if we can't do that, you can't see it, but the glow that comes off of these. It's beautiful. It's amazing. And, and it's a lot of light, too. You don't right. realize it, but it's a lot. And they of kind light. of maintain themselves because if it rains, oh, 100%. that dust, the pollen and the dust come off yes. the solar panel. Yeah. So you don't have to deal with that. Get them home. They make an instant impact in your yard. They really do. Not only that, 
your neighbors are going to be like, wow, that they're oh. going to they're going to ask you where you got them. Well, no, and I'll tell you, right? so it's funny you just say that because my neighbors are always walking by me because I've got like these, the color burst lights. I got them lights. everywhere. I got them everywhere. Yeah. So my house, you know, it looks amazing. But we've taken them with us when we've gone RVing. Okay, oh, yeah. we take a whole set of these. We'll put them around our campsite, and it's funny to watch people walking their dogs at night and doing things. Yeah. and they're looking at your campsite like, whoa, hey, what, what? Fourth of July, come from? I went out. I had them on the beach. Oh, did you I, really? I, That's I, a great I, idea. I got a dozen of them that I actually keep in. Yeah. In uh, in my shed. Yeah. And those are my beach ones. For special And occasions. I'm like, 4th of July, New Year's, whatever it is. If I want to do something on the beach, I say, hey, oh, that's look, awesome. look for the circle yeah, yeah. of light. Nice. And that's where I hang out. Nice. Over 1,000 people picked it up. Yeah. Weekly deal drop. It's a great deal. I mean, and Lou, a job we love to do. A job. It's Easy. easy. Yeah. <laughs> That's our number one requirement these days. All right. It's got to be easy. Remember your choices. That's the slate. And we also have them in the stone. Believe it or not, the stone went crazy. The stone. Everybody's yeah. in the stone today. Um, and kind of awesome. Gets eight, you get the batteries are pre installed. All you got to do is turn them on and enjoy them. And yeah. no babysitting. No. Nope. Here's your install. Done. I'm done. That's it. Or you put the spike on it. That's it. That's it. And remember, the sun does all the work. Yeah. Lou, nice job. Thanks, buddy. Thank you, buddy. Good seeing you. Good to see you, too. Great way to start our show. Use express ordering. We are very busy. Quickest way to order is that little code right down there at the bottom of your screen. Right. To get your phone, turn on your camera, hold it right there. It'll bring you right to hsn.com. All right. Thank you, my friend. You're right. You're welcome, buddy. And coming up in just a bit, I think this is the coolest shovel. I don't own it. But it's brand new, and it's called the Earthwise Root Slayer. So it's shaped like an arrowhead. It's got teeth, saw teeth on both sides, and it's got that full radius handle so that it's comfortable and you can grab it from any angle. It only weighs, how much does it weigh, Pete? Four pounds. If you need to plant, it's the perfect shape for planting. It'll cut through the toughest soil. Look at that price. $39.95 with my good friend, my brother, Pete Kilcullen. That'll be coming up in just a bit. All right. Guess what's back? What's back? Finally. Absolutely. You are back. Oh, my gosh. But look what I brought with me. It's the garden dealer. And guy, by the way, this is the deluxe garden dealer with the extra padding. Yep. Holds up to 300 pounds. pounds. All right. So here's the story. You got to get out and you got to do gardening. Yep. Right? Maybe you're my age, you're over 60, and maybe I've got good knees, but maybe you don't have good Not knees. Not anymore. And maybe you don't have a great back, and you want to get down there and you still want to plant, you want to dig, you want to weed. You can do it using the garden dealer, all right? It's a two-in-one, because not only, and I'll drop my card so I can show you, and then Deb will take it away. Yep. Not only can you use it as a kneeler, and I weigh 220 pounds, Comfortable, double padding, but, and believe it or not, I use it more this way. Okay. This way. Than any other way, it is now a seat wherever you need a seat. Exactly. So let me tell you quick, and I know, I'm going to do it. <laughs> I have so much I want to talk gonna about. I'm going to shut up after this. <laughs> so three days ago, Danny's washing his car. Okay. He uses this more than I do to wash his wheels. And he's like, Dad, it's the greatest thing you've ever sold. On H he loves this. So two in one. $27.95, which is 6 or $7 off last year's price. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. And you're absolutely right. This is multi-generational because Danny is, what, 21? 22. And I am... Mm. It's okay. And let me tell you something. This is an amazing opportunity for you to have something that is going to be ready to go right out of the box. This is the Garden Kneeler Part 2 bench that's going to be the one that you know and love. It's lightweight. It only weighs about 5 pounds. Guy just told you it'll hold 300 pounds. It's simple. When you get it ready to go, you simply open it up once, twice, and now you've got all that security as a garden kneeler. Now, I'm going to go ahead and get down. Now, Guy was saying he's over 60. I'm not going to tell you how old I am, but I have reached a point where getting up and getting down is not that easy. And if you want to do your gardening and you haven't got something that you can hold on to and feel confident with, you're on your knees, you're down there, your knees are getting dirty, you're in the mud, you've got all those problems, and you can't get up. So for me, I can simply hold on to the handles. Look at that. Because the handles are beautiful and strong and durable. You'll notice, too, that we're about two inches off the ground 
That's important for two reasons. The bottom pad, which is going to end up being your seat on the bench, is never touching the ground. You've got those two layers of the EVA foam. That's what's giving you comfort and stability. If it gets dirty, it just hose it down, not a problem. My toes behind me in the kneeling position are comfortable, so I don't have to worry about my feet getting all crampy. But if I need to reach for something, if maybe I drop something over there, I don't have to kind of like fall apart. I can hold on to the handle and reach for something here. I can reach for something here. So I feel stable and secure. But most importantly, when I'm ready to get up, all I need to do is simply stand up. It's yeah. that easy. So this is really important if you're someone who's a little bit challenged, and I mean, let's face it, we're aging, you, don't even you want to be, be comfortable. You don't even need to be challenged. Well. Because my son is 22, he's, yes. and he's in perfect health. He uses it because he's like, I gotta wash, and he when he washes his car, it's a two hour job. Oh, he's yeah, like, sure. I'm out there watching each, washing each tire for 15 minutes, all right? He goes, Dad, it's hard to lean and, and bend over and do that. And by the way, you are getting the tool bag, so I, I mean, this is the best deal we've offered. Last year it was $34.95. I don't know why we didn't write that, you know, as our original price, but we dropped the price to $27.95. That's our hot deal price. I'm gonna put the tool back to the side. Well, make just because I wanna show everybody again. When I'm when I'm I could be I could be painting. I like baseboards. Yes. I could be doing something with a dog. I could be giving her a bath. Oh, perfect. That's the, one of the hardest things I do is give her a bath inside in the tub. Absolutely. I, not, I forgot I had this. Well, of course, there's no question. And if you're watching, we're on the same item. This is the kneeler. This is the kneeler. This is how versatile this item has been. It's why it's always been so popular here. It's made of powder coated steel, so it's always going to stay clean. It's lightweight, it folds up flat, it's secure when you're on it. My feeling is I want to know that I am Goodness. confident when I get up or down because it's just, you know, as we age, we just need a little bit more stability. I can easily get up easily get up I can easily get down I'm not throwing myself down I'm and not pulling myself up I don't have to have anybody help me it's all done with this great kneeler see and this is this has the upgraded foam yes the and one it's I, comfortable don't get me wrong, I love the one I have at home this has double the foam yes so it gives you a little more support on your knees or on your backside not only that you keep get one of these for the car you never know when you're going to need to change a tire. Yes. You never know. You're going to a, a, to, a, a, to see your kids uh, play a uh, ball game, and the bleachers are full. Guess what? You got a seat. It's super comfortable. You can sit and you can relax and you can enjoy a seat. Anywhere you go, you've got a seat or you've got a place to kneel. Show the, uh, the footage of the gardening again, if you could, Mikey, one more time. Because, listen, you don't want to get your knees dirty. You no. don't want to get them all wet. Yes. You don't want to do any of that stuff. You want to be comfortable. And look at how, look at that. I love that. See, there she's using it as a seat, and there she's using it as a kneeler. And even if you're, you're weeding or you're just, you're planting, that's the hard part is having to scrunch down, and then you come inside and your knees are all dirty, and you wonder why at the end of the day you have aches and pains, because you're doing things improperly. We are so busy right now. This is the brand new, latest and greatest when it comes to the garden kneeler. Um, I, like I said, I use it more like this as a seat because I go outside and I wash my car mm -hmm. as well. You could be painting. Mm -hmm. I mean, think about it. If you're a grandparent, what about just getting down on the level of your kids? There's no question right? about it. And it's lightweight. And I want to get up because I'm, and I'm going to get up easily because I can. So here we go. It, to close it up, remember, it comes to you ready to go out of the box. Easy. There's a heavy duty spring. It's made of powder coated steel, so it's durable. But there's a spring action here. And you're just going to release it just like that. You can see that. And then fold it down. And then you're going to do it the other side. So it's easy to store. Take it to the pickleball. Take it to, the, to anywhere you this. like. Leave it in the car. Hang it up. But this is going to be your BFF. And I love love that we're talking about Danny, who's 22, you, who's 60, me, yeah. who's 29, and we're all going to be using something that's going to be comfortable and durable, and it lasts. That EVA foam that's in there is durable yeah. and comfortable. You know, I've had mine for three years. I'm not surprised. Three years. I'm not surprised. And, and Danny uses it more than I do. I mean, I like, when I'm doing gardening, I use it, but he, like I said, he uses it when he washes his car. Wow. And I always get such a kick, because because he doesn't, you know, he, he has all this stuff, like, in a certain area, and I'll walk outside, and there he is sitting on it. And I'm like, <laughs> the garden.
Sarah Neeler. He goes, I love this thing, man. Well, this thing is awesome. Well, it's great. It's yep. terrific. And it's portable, so you can take it, like we said. If you want to take it, if you want to take it in your car. Yes. Listen to it lock. Ready? Listen. See that? Now you're ready to go. So whether it's a seat or it's away and we'll do it together. That is way comfortable on It's your super, knees. super comfortable. So wow. no more dirty knees, no more pulling little things out of your kneecaps, no more having to ask somebody to help you get up. You need to get up. You just get up. The kneeler's going to do it all for you. I love, and I love And the pouch will stay with you. It'll go right on the, uh, the end, whether it's in the kneeling one. position or in the seated position. So it's right shovel. there. Four pockets, right. nylon, good to go. Express ordering is the quickest way to go. Crazy busy. Uh, pull up your phone and turn on your camera and just hold it in front of that code right down there, and you can get order this lickety split. 861-586. Thank you, Deb. My pleasure. Congratulations, so everybody. You're in both my hours today. Oh, what a great morning good, it's been. Good buddy, Deb Byers. All right, coming up in just a bit, and I believe that's with my friend Peter Kilcullen. These guys are brand new private, what we call privacy planters. These are awesome. I don't have a lot, I expect them to sell out. These are planters that actually have a built-in trellis on the back. So, it, and they're, they're gonna give you not only a place for your vines to grow and cascade, they're gonna give you a little privacy at the same time. And they fit on any railing, even chain link fence. Up to four inches, one to four inches. Those are coming up in just a bit. All right. So I like to feature really good garden tools once in a while. Peter, where do you want to do this? Right over here? Okay. I'm sorry, I didn't see the shovel over there. Um, I'm going to get my buddy Pete Kilcullen out because you all know Pete. Come on out, Pete. When it comes to tools, this guy knows a lot about him. Well, you and I, hey, listen, yeah. we both... We're both kind of like single dads. We take care of the yard work. It's we true. do all that stuff. True, yeah. And we appreciate a good tool. This thing is ridiculous. <laughs> That's cool. I, because it's, it does so many different things. It has a very unique design. It's called yeah. the Root Slayer. It, it, we call it that, and Peter will tell you why. But Pete, this thing is virtually indestructible. Maybe look, that's at the, the, look at the way it's made. <laughs> Maybe that's the first thing. So what you're looking at there is that carbon steel blade. Look at the blade. So uh, here's the difference. I mean, you've used a shovel. I think so many of us have used a shovel right. in the past. But we've been here a couple of years now, and every single year we're seeing these improvements on the design of a shovel. And the reason for that is just to make these jobs easier. When you're going to transplant and you want to do a, you know, a whole new area of planting in your yard, this is the way to do it with a tool like this. So. Guy, you know, I heard you mention it before. Here's one of the coolest things we noticed, and this was kind of an innovation, where they went with that arrowhead design, yeah. you can see. But check this out. This is still sort of an arrowhead if you took a look at the whole shovel. But have you seen this before? This no. is brand new. Inverted arrowhead, it's this like shape. A, it's like a V edge. Yes, so now they have found that this is going to penetrate that that cold or that you know that really difficult soil oh, better yeah. than anything and before. that's chiseled down too. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's sharp, yeah, sharpened on the edge. And then you've got the teeth on both sides. Again, that's why we're calling it the root slayer because the biggest problem with digging, especially around those plants, and I know so many of us are you're redoing the planting beds and moving that. This, this cutting action that you're getting from the, the uh, blades uh, or the teeth on both sides is amazing. So the inverted design, you're getting the blades, and even some of these touches I like. This folded over top design, this is where you have the little step, yeah. so you can get that extra force by it's stepping perfect. on it to get through that soil. So they thought of everything, and then there you go. We're also including the trowel with all of the same designs, which is so cool. So again, when you're down there in the garden and you're doing some of that transplanting and you're trying to dig to replant, this trowel's amazing. So same teeth, same carbon steel, that inverted arrow design at the yeah. end. And there's also a cutter on here if you want to use that for cutting twine and things oh, like yeah, that. Oh, yeah, cordage, cordage and yeah, stuff like exactly. that. Yeah, exactly. So everybody that orders is going to get both. Um, the handle grips on both of these <laughs> are amazing. Uh, this is the most comfortable grip. And also the balance of the tool. Like, I don't own anything like this. I would almost, let me just tell you, I have one of your root assassin shovels from yeah. a couple years ago. Right. But I don't have this. Like, I'm thinking of buying both just to get the trowel. Because this trowel is amazing. But let's talk about the construction. Yeah, Top so to bottom. 
So again, it weighs just four pounds because this is a, a fiberglass pole with the carbon steel and that zero grip handle. You can see we're calling that a zero grip or that just sets a circle, the whole handle. So there's always a comfortable place. It always allows you to get the grip that works best for you. So here's what we're seeing. That, that's what I think you're gonna use this for the most. And I think that's what all of us do, transplanting or whether it's removing some um, different plants that didn't make it through the winter, but cutting through the roots makes it difficult. So when you're standing up, you using the large shovel, using that root slayer, or when you're down and you want to get in close and you're using the trowel as well, there's nothing else like this. I mean, you can see it, super easy to use. And you know what, we can do a little bit of digging Yeah, do whatever here. you want, Pete. You want to do some digging? Here, I'll Go give ahead. you this one. And then... I'll hold this one. Yeah. I think the, the, the key to this, I'm just going to drop my cards over here for a sec. The real key to this is the shape, the, the um, their head shape. Because it's yeah. funny. When you think about a shovel in hard ground, the bigger the shovel, the harder it's going to be to get it into that ground. Right. So this has a point, almost like you would stick a knife into the ground. Exactly. And right? then that inverted arrowhead design, yeah. that's, that's sharpened. It's almost, you can see that it's, it's actually shaved down to be a blade. And then these points will just penetrate that soil. And it makes it so easy. And then as I mentioned, you can get your, your added you know, weight on there oh, and geez. push that into the soil. Dude, that goes in like and butter, it, man. It really does. Does a great job. I mean, it's and you know what? Can we show that? We should show that handle. I want to as talk well. about the handle because, because it's different. It, when you're doing that, so typically the handle is is that square shape potentially. Or there's but no here, handle at all. Look at that. You can <laughs> grab it however right. you want. You can get your hands on there, so you're getting that additional force. So that zero grip is amazing. So again, all these innovations coming from the the root assassin or the root slayer. And again, all of these are brought to us by Earthwise that we've had here for years. So I just am impressed rest always that they're making something that we've used for years and years better every single well, season and, and we are in, it's March right before you know it's gonna be April May most of you are getting your flowers delivered in the next month or so this is what you want to get out there and plant so in your true. garden okay you get the large shovel so if you're doing larger plants or you're planting trees or if you want to get rid of some of the roots and stuff in the ground you have that but then this hand trowel I've never seen anything like that 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 is the best coolest little garden tool and again Pete just hold that for yeah. one sec so you have saw teeth here so if you're planting you know your annuals perennials whatever in your front yard you not only can cut to, can create the perfect hole because of that shape but if you run into roots or god man that's sharp you got to be careful when you run your fingers over there that's going to cut through those roots uh, when it goes down it releases when it goes up I got to be careful when I go down because this is razor sharp and then you have that slight <coughs> that slight bow and then you have the chiseled bottom here too. Exactly. I mean, it's perfectly designed. Same technology as on the large shovel, carbon steel. And, and you be, I mean, we've all experienced that, even when using a hand trowel, that you're trying to dig through maybe those plants from last year. These aren't oh, like yeah. giant roots that are in there, but there's all those fingers and all those small roots that are just making it impossible to dig through there. And maybe you want to remove those so you can have a, a real clean, clear area from when you're planting everything new this season. So this combination of both of these is going to make those jobs just so much easier. I had the version that I own of this, which you sold to me about three years ago yeah i still have i don't i think the the they've improved the material That's on the right. shovel part because mine was just stainless this is like a this is like carbon a carbon steel yeah, yeah exactly yep. it, again it, you're gonna have this forever because not only is it better technology these are just super high quality tools with high quality materials so they're going to last but they're better than what you've been using because of all this new design technology and you're not and, and before you go and buy a cheap you know what shovel from the home store yeah it doesn't even have a handle a lot of shovels are just wood handles right exactly you get splinters buy this shovel you're gonna have it for years I've had mine for three years still looks like the day I bought it a little beat up because I like to I like to use it but you're gonna love it all right if you didn't join us or you joined us late we still have a few left available 80 left of our um, works blower the most powerful blower that we have the lightest weight 130 miles an hour inline engine design like a jet engine you will be shocked at the power, but you can handle this. Rechargeable, three-year warranty, free shipping and handling, and if you get a brand new HSN credit card, it's another $40 off. All right, I have been excited about this because you know what? I saw it online, but I wanted to see it in person because Peter knows because he's been to my house. I've got railings all out there on my deck, 
but I don't take advantage of it. I have nothing out there, right? Why I got not? a couple of solar lights and on the caps. This is a brand new, brilliant way to be able to display your plants by utilizing railing planters. And at the same time, it has the, uh, the little trellis behind it, which will give you privacy. And it'll also allow some of your plants to climb. You want to talk about an instant way, look at that. An instant way to beautify your deck, or if you've, if you've got a fence around your pool, sure. perfect for that, Peter. Yo, now, so everybody gets what, two? Yes, yeah, set of two. Okay. Yeah, so we've had the planters. I mean, you know, we've we've oh, had really these planters. planters. Yeah. So, but this whole privacy planner is brand new. So there's a brand new design that you can see on there. Have you seen that guy that it ha kind of has that wicker rattan look yeah, yeah, yeah. on the front end? We've never had oh, that design that. before, which I think is like really nice. Yeah. yeah, exactly. So it has that basket look. So we've had the planters before, but what's brand new that you're seeing right there is that trellis. So here's what's so cool about this, and we're calling that the privacy trellis, the privacy planter, because you you have this trellis now. So early in the season, you're gonna have just the trellis when you plant your plants. But then, and it'll give you privacy as just the trellis, but guy, think about this. As you put, maybe it's ivy like we have in this one, and that ivy starts to grow up and around. Yeah. It's gonna increase that privacy as it grows up. And as you can see in this one, we've got the ivy on the trellis, but you can have your favorite flowers out front because maybe you're going with just the green ivy, or maybe you decide to put a flowering climbing sure. plant in there, maybe jasmine. You could even do cherry the, tomatoes if you wanted well, to because they, they will climb. Yeah, in you the know? planter you can do just about anything. Yeah. Because, well, let's go to this, I'll go to this one over here where we don't have a plant so everyone can see what we're talking about in here. So the planter itself is super easy, no tools are needed. It's just going to hang on to the railing. And you can see the railing um, holders or the brackets are adjustable. Oh. So, so if you have a very narrow or if you're up to the four inches, which is a very traditional um, railing, you're gonna be able to do that. Super easy to do, no tools. Again, you adjust this, the little pin goes in here and you're set. Inside, this is not just a planter. We have in here a little, uh, what this is gonna create, this base is creating a reservoir. We have an overflow in there. So again, making it easy for you to be successful with those plants as well. Yeah. Because the reservoir will keep them watered. The overflow will make sure that we're not over watering. So again, the perfect environment in here, the perfect way to display them yeah. on that unused railing or fence, sure. right? So you can do that. Here's something else I like, watch this one. You see this right on. well, yep. it's, not, it's not it's not hanging right right check this out guy I think this is the coolest thing that they've added on there on the back we have this little leveling device that you just pull that what? out so Let me see. you've seen these planners before where they're <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. Let me see where they're so just, that gives it, that pushes it back forward. So it levels it out perfectly. So Look at that. Actually, I did that. <laughs> that was just about right, the amount Perfect. I pulled it out. So it's not going to be sagging to the front. So when you put soil and you put your plants in there, you don't, you know, you don't want it looking funny, looking uneven. It allows you to have it perfectly leveled every you know, single time. Can you imagine? They thought of everything. Yeah, they thing. did. You know what? This would be perfect for an herb garden. Right? 100%. Basil, yeah. cilantro, uh, whatever, you know, chives, whatever you want to put out there, it would be perfect for that. And remember, it's got, if you have plants that are kind of viney, they will climb. And now look, you have given yourself not only the privacy, but a beautiful look. And I agree with you, we never take advantage of the railings, the we railing, don't take advantage right. of the deck. You can imagine this out by your pool, because everybody everybody that has a pool has to have a fence around it. Sure, and right? then you want to be able to have a little bit of privacy. That trellis immediately will do that. So you'll get this home, you can put some new, maybe small, there you can see it, right? So that's kind of the before, where they haven't grown oh, up and that. over that trellis. Gorgeous. But as they start to grow, it's fantastic. And maybe Maybe you've always loved that look of ivy where it climbs up yeah. the side of a, of a fence or maybe this. even the side of your home. This is a perfect way to get that started on a balcony, on a railing, yeah. on a deck. See that's the one that has both flowers in the front and then some type of climbing plant, that yeah. one just being ivy in the back going up the trellis. Yeah. And we can just, as we said, we can, we've, we can take this off and we can pop it right back on very easily. That's how easy, so if you want to slide it. You can slide it too if you have a sunny sure, area of your, of your yard. You can slide it left and right. This is the new rattan look of the basket on the bottom. We've never had that before. Is you that know cool? what? That was the only thing I didn't like about the other ones. Is it was just flat. Yeah. This actually has a decorative sort of. It looks, looks like a basket. Look at how pretty. Can you imagine walking out on your deck, right, and being able to pull 
strawberries or, or little cherry tomatoes or pick off pieces of basil, or just have something that gives you, like we said, a little bit more of that sort of private look to your deck. It finishes it off. And Peter, one of the big problems with the planters that we had in, the, in, in some of the, in the past, not from you, but when we went, we'd go to the, the store and get them, you'd get that, the water would kind of sit at the bottom and the, you'd get root rot. Exactly. This doesn't happen, right? Right. So, I mean, that's the problem with any time that we're planting is how much water. In a container. Right? Yeah. Do I need to water? Do I need watering too much, too little? This reservoir is going to allow you to make sure that you're always watering it exactly the way it needs it because we have that insert, so and the soil is going to go on top of that. Yeah, and the reservoir is, um, is going to be underneath there, so you're going to have that water. So the water, the, the, your plant doesn't rest in water. Exactly. It can go, the roots reach down, gets the water you. that they need. And here you can see the other part about this is this is going to be easy for you to put together. You can get your soil and plants in here. You can do it while it's on the railing because you can flip it around so you can do it right here yeah. in front of you so you're not bending down. There's no tools needed to mount this whatsoever. You're going to be able to do it. I'll show you that again. Whoops. So we take this off and again here are the brackets and there's a pin right here so you decide the width that you need for your railing, you pop the pin in there to lock it into place and you're set to go. And here's that leveler in the back. You're just gonna pull that out to make sure that your basket isn't hanging down or up too far. It'll always be perfectly level so it looks great. That's the thing, you're gonna beautify and make an area of your home that you're underutilizing yeah. with a beautiful railing planter. You're gonna be able to decide the plants and now this brand new Wait. privacy trellis yeah. that starts like this, so you have privacy immediately. Right. But now imagine what that looks like when you have a climbing plant and on there. And to get two of these? Yeah. I mean, two of these for about $25, $26 each, that's a steal. So you can you can put flowers in one. You can, like I said, you could put herbs in one. <clears throat> I want to show you all three, the, how we have them designed. Right. Down here, we just did regular beautiful garden flowers, right? And then you can see how the, the vines kind of grow up to the top. Obviously these are faux plants, but you get the idea. This is just so we can give you an idea. In the center, beautiful bright yellow flowers. And then uh, if you wanted, we said you could do an herb garden. You could do fruits and veggies. Absolutely. If you live in an apartment and you just have a little deck, now you can have a garden, right? Exactly. Any of those things you can plant, you don't have to go with a climber in here, but it's it's an option to increase that privacy when it be becomes a little bit more overgrown and it starts growing up there. But put your favorite plants, put your favorite flowers in there. And again, flowers can be always difficult to grow, but because you have that reservoir, making sure that you're not over or under watering, it's going to be successful. No tools, you can get this set up in minutes. Yeah. First time we've ever had the privacy trellis, and you're getting two. Like I love you it. Said. Instant deck makeover, right? And exactly. I like that you said that we, we had talk, talked earlier, even if you have chain link fence, you can adjust it even for a fence. From one inch width all yeah. the way to that four inches, down. which is typical. Yeah. All right, if you want to get it, uh, everybody gets to, item number is 852-160. Grab these, get them home, and get your garden started. We're almost there. It's almost April. It's be time. There two more weeks, we'll be in April. <laughs> Thanks, Petey. Thanks, guys. Right, see buddy. you. Thank you. Hey, if you missed out, we still have our garden kneelers available. Uh, this will hold up to 300 pounds. I've owned one for years. This is the deluxe model with the extra thick padding. Um, you can sit on it, you can kneel on it. If you got gardening to do, don't get down on your knees. Take the gar garden kneeler out. It only weighs a couple of pounds, but it holds up to 300. We're including the little tool uh, bag, accessory bag, so you can put your shovels and all that in there and your fertilizer, gloves. You can use it kneeling. My son uses it to wash car tires. I use it uh, for the same for my car. $27.95, it's $7 cheaper than it was last year. Hey, by the way, if you wanna know when to watch, we've got uh, our when to watch emails. You can be the first to know when your favorite brands are gonna be on air. Uh, you can customize your shopping experience by signing up for our when to watch emails. Um, why sign up? Well, because you can customize your shopping experience by choosing the brands that you love to shop for most. Um, you can shop your favorite brands and be the first to get in on their best buys. All right. We're going to step away when we come back. My pick of the show, our first pressure washer and the best one of the year. Here we go. The HSN deal is a great value that we bring to you every day. Thanks to our long and valued partnerships with the brands you love most, we are able to offer amazing products at great values. Shop the HSN deal with confidence from us to you. 
Hi, I'm Lacey Chabert. Let me infuse your personal style with a fresh new twist on classic femininity. It's easy, breezy, effortlessly contemporary, and always perfectly you. Join me for the Lacey Chabert collection. It's time to open the windows, renew the outdoors, and spruce up your indoor space with our spring home and garden spruce up. Join us for 48 hours of spring-inspired bliss. From cleaning essentials to storage and organizational must-haves, stunning decor ideas, and more. We've got everything you need to welcome spring in style. Starts tonight at midnight. I grew up in a setting related to food. Cook it for me became a passion. My culinary line, Lydia's Kitchen, is special because behind it is my 50 years of experience of cooking. I hope that this cookware will make things easier in the kitchen and bring beauty to your home. This is my only cookware line and it's exclusive to HSN. Watch Lydia's Kitchen by Lydia Bastianich, only on HSN. I'm Dr. Darce Dalton, the founder and creator of Doll 10 Beauty. I actually created Doll 10 out of my own personal necessity. I was going through a really rare illness and um, there was nothing that worked on my skin, on my brows, and I just went to work as a doctor and created products that were really good for my skin. It really gave me my sense of self back. One of the greatest accomplishments I really think as a female entrepreneur that I've gotten to experience Actually, I get to experience it every day when I see women using my products and I know it changes the way they see themselves, the way they feel about themselves. Um, that's my greatest accomplishment. We always say, let me steal 10 minutes out of your day and I'll change the way you see yourself. All right, uh, everybody, before we get to our pressure washer, which I cannot wait to talk about, I want to give a shout out to all my Facebook friends. You know, I love you. Judy, Martina, <coughs> City Gals with us today. Uh, who else we got? Annie. Hi, Annie. Uh, Kathy is with us today. Pat's with me today. Uh, why might I think freeze up here? Uh, let's see. Anita, Judy, Irina. Oh, I like that name. Jenny is with me today. Uh, Brooke is with me today. Uh, uh, is it Gala Marie? Gala Marie? It's a pretty name. Uh, Anita, I think I said hi to you, because you know if I don't say hi to you, I'll be very sad. Dawn, Patty, um, a lot of you are watching today, just making sure. Angie, I got you. Uh, let's see, Kathy. Ed, Laura, you know I'm always there for you. Valerie is with me today. Linda is with me today. All right, uh, it's good to talk to you guys, and of course, you know I love you all. Uh, and uh, we've got our uh, $25 gift card that we're going to be giving away a little bit later. All right, let's get to the last item in the show. Um, I saved something best for last, and this is my pick of the two-hour block. Um, Sunjo is an incredible company. I have more Sunjo items than I have any other uh, power tools at my house. Why? I love their batteries. All their batteries are inter interchangeable. This is actually full electric. You're gonna plug this in, okay? It's not a gas, it's not stinky, it doesn't make a lot of noise, but it is a gas, power, electric powered pressure washer. It's a 2300 PSI pressure washer. It says it right on the machine. That's the initial pressure you're gonna get. It averages out at about 1800 PSI throughout the process of utilizing it. But when you come out of the gate, you're at 2300 PSI, which is the most powerful that we have here at HSM. And I'm talking about the toughest jobs that, you, that you're gonna wanna tackle. I don't care if you've got mold, mildew, scuzz on your driveway, oil stains. Um, you wanna clean your shutters, your windows, your boat, your RV, your car, all right? This thing is the most powerful that we carry. Decks, RV, all that stuff. It comes with five different attachments to be able to do various degrees uh, of work. So it comes with a 15 degree, it comes with a zero degree, a 25 and a 40. Plus it comes with a 54 ounce uh, soap tank and a soap nozzle. Bobby Milliken is with me today. We only have about eight, nine minutes on this. I'm gonna get Bobby right out. 
Welcome to the show. Thank you, guys. I love this design. This is, like, this is like, the, like the ones you see at the store for I'm five, excited. $600. This is the biggest, baddest, best, most powerful pressure washer yep. I we have ever presented at HSN on behalf of Sun Joe. By the way, as you're tuning in this presentation, this is, and we are, the number one brand of pressure washer in the United States. I'll the get right country. to a demo because yep. I know you want to see what's happening over here. I've got some red uh, pavers over here. Look at the spray. I've got the green nozzle. I'm going to go over the nozzles in just a bit. But if you've got that dirty patio, that dirty driveway, spring is here. It's time to get things nice and clean and ready to get out there and enjoy the nice, beautiful outdoors, ready to enjoy our patio furniture. What's the best and easiest way to keep the value of our home items like our driveway, like our siding, like our pa uh, porch patio furniture, like our brick pavers? It's to clean them off. And what's the easiest way to clean them off? Well, it's simply with water. And this guy can do it. Let me show you the back, because we give you all these nozzles in the back. Five different nozzles that do different things. They basically determine how wide the spray of water is, or the fan, so to speak. First of all, I can lift this with two fingers. It's only 26 pounds, guy. Secondly, it's very mobile. You've I love got the wheels. wheels so love you that. can wheel it to all four corners of your driveway. Now, let's talk about hose length, because again, we've gone above and beyond what other pressure washers in the market will give you. We give you 20 feet of high pressure hose so you can get to all four corners of your driveway. In addition to that, we give you over 30 feet of your power cord to get all the way back. Again, it's an electric pressure washer, but it basically gives you the power that you could expect yeah. from a gas. Now, now, here's what's amazing about this. Are you ready for this? Most of the times you buy a pressure washer, you get it at that speed, at that PSI, right? If I could ask you to come down and take a look right here and I'll tilt it towards camera, you actually have a dial to determine what pressure you want. You want to off is the stop. If you turn it to low, you're going to get about 1,000 PSI. That's like having a smaller, lower end pressure wash unit. But if you want to turn on the big guns, turn it to high, now you're getting that 1800 rated PSI. This to me is amazing because guy, this means you have more control. This is like having two different pressure washers built into one unit. Oh yeah, and you know, this is the time of year when we go from season to season. Right now we're going from winter to spring. You got your decks you want to clean off. You've had snowy, messy buildup. Pollen. Your car, po we've got so much pollen in Florida yeah. right now. You want to wash your windows, and not the first floor. Second floor, you go up to third story with this thing. That's how powerful. Absolutely. And look at the nozzles you get. You get all five. You get all these. So I've got the green one on. This is what you do, like your driveway, your patio, your brick pavers. Okay, but I can switch them out. There's a, there's a lot. I don't even have, to have time to go through all of them. Let's switch to the uh, yellow one. Okay, this one is the 15. So you just click them on so there. So it, does it get more powerful as you go up? Yeah, as you go down. down. As you, so when I get to zero, that's, that's going to be the most powerful. So okay. this is the second most powerful one we have. Wow. So let's go to the grill over here. This stuff is, I don't know how long this dirt's been on here. This is tough to get off. But I'm using that yellow nozzle. And now you can see I'm starting to be able to cut through it. So we're talking grease and oil, all that stuff that you would expect on your grill. And I'm getting this off with no soap, with just the power of 1,800 PSI. By the way, guy, I had it on low before. Now I'm going to kick it up to high. Right, so now I'm going to get that increased pressure. So now I'm going to go to the fence. You see how bad? This is, this is real fence. <laughs> you, yeah, you, this isn't a fake demo. This is a that's real That's real stay. Watch. You can see I'm able to get through and cut this dirt. And I don't even have the strongest nozzle on right now. Look at the before and after. You see the difference, guy? Wow. Look at that. Ding, Look at I can that. go faster if I want. Look at that paint. You took Look the paint that. off. Look at the before yeah. and the after. Let me see. That's Crazy. amazing. Nice and You've smooth, You've exposed right? like the real wood that was under there. You can there actually see what the real years color ago. of something was, Dude, right? I mean, can you do that one more time in a spot right here? Yeah. Just watch, 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 because uh, this is the old wood. Yep. All right, go ahead. Do All it right, again. you ready for me? Yep. Here we go. Look at that. Bobby, that's amazing. Just do one line so you can really see the difference. Wow. And again, I wasn't rubbing, I wasn't scrubbing, no. I didn't pre-treat this, I didn't even have to use soap. This does have a soap container, by the way. I'm gonna show you that. I'm gonna do one more demo here. Guy, watch out, I'm coming your way. This is that PVC white fencing. Look at that. Just blast away all that mud, all that dirt. Let's do the top half there. There we go. 
it's almost uh, what's the word, guy? Addicting. It's it's very. Uh, oh, oh no! It's it's fun to get stuff clean because you instantly you see. get hooked on it. Once you start yeah. doing it. Like, I'll never forget, I did, I brought my uh, pressure washer out and I did the driveway. And then I'm like, man, the, the wall, the panels of my house have dirt all over them. I did the side of the house. Yeah. Picture windows. Every, you start cleaning everything. You get addicted I to it. I started doing the deck. You can't stop. You can't. I've got the red nozzle on, so this is zero degrees, so I know I'm going out of frame, but that's the point. I can get so much power that I could clean my second story windows with this stream. But if you want to get underneath your gutters, or if you have a bees or wasp nest, you want to get rid of the pest nest high up in those corners, you don't have to get up on the ladder. You just use the power of your pressure washer. Again, the higher the PSI, the more powerful, the more pressure. And again, the fact that we're the number one in the industry, the fact that this is lightweight, portable, the fact that we give you all five nozzles on board, oh, this yeah. to me is a no-brainer, guy. By the way, uh, the price is not gonna last on this. We dropped it. I think it was two, was it 249? Was that what it was you. initially? Kyle? And they dropped it down to what, 159? And they lowered the shipping. The shipping was 1995. I can't read the shipping, but I think it's 995. This just gives you an idea of the kind of power yeah. that you Give have. Give it a try, guy, go for it. I mean, check it out. Now, I'm not doing any work, all right? I am simply gliding along the wood. So watch this, and you'll see, the closer you come, the better it cleans, and you can change whatever nozzle you want to change out. I'll just do half of that, and then I'll do this one. I mean, look at that. And remember, if you have a tough stain, you come in close. So if you've got things you need to clean, it could, it could even be an area of a driveway. You can do all this stuff very easily. And that's it. And then, you know, I always know it's well made. As soon as I let it go, there's no drip. All right? So I turn it on, off. Right? That's it. It cuts off and there's no drip. Pop the tops off to, to change out the different nozzles. Very easily to do. We've got this. Kyle, let's put up our h credit card offer because you can get $40 off on this too and get this home for what? $119 with a brand new h credit card? Look at that. Save 40 bucks. All right. If you just buy it to wash your car. Yeah. Right, Bobby? Because it has the soap dispenser Abs built in. Yeah, exactly. I know we kind of had abbreviated presentation, but this is a powerful unit, all packed, everything that you need. We also give you the soap nozzle, right? Because if you direct your attention down here, we give you a built-in uh, detergent tank. It's 54 ounces. You can actually turn the dial to what level of soap you want. So you put your soap nozzle on, then you start to spray. You can actually see the bubbles coming out of the wand and really just starting to suds up at the uh, car here. So basically you're gonna save yourself, uh, save yourself, excuse me, some time and some money because now you're doing your at-home car wash that quickly. To pop them off, you just pop it off like that. Then I'm gonna put the gray. We haven't talked about the gray nozzle. This is the 40 degree fan. Guy, this is the one I recommend to use on your trucks, golf carts, boats, RVs. This is the one that's gonna be safe and not gonna chip or take away the paint, but it's gonna get nice and clean, get those bugs and pollen off the windshield, and of course, get all that soap. And I know we have the Sun Joe soap for sale as well, but this is the most pressure, most highest PSI that I have seen in any of our Sun Joe units. And we've been selling here for five five years on HSN, and again, there's a reason we're the number one brand of pressure washers in the United States. Listen, this is the perfect purchase for this time of year. It's springtime is almost here, all right? Think about your driveway, your patio, your swimming pool, if you have a pool, the, you know, the, you know, the edge of the pool always gets that mildew line. Think about your decks, think about windows. How about your house? If you had snow all year, or if you had, uh, you know, uh, bad weather, you want to clean off the house, the gutters, uh, the little overhangs in your house. You can clean all that stuff in addition to your car, your boat, your RV, your barbecue grill, and use all of that just harnessing the, the power of water. And by the way, if you're one of those people that just puts your thumb over the hose, huh. that's 60 PSI. This thing goes up to 2,300 PSI and runs at a steady 18. This is gonna blow away the dirt, the grime, the mold, the mildew. And it's at the lowest price we've ever done it for. 
And I like this design, Bobby, too. This is my favorite. I I'm love a little it. little cart like that. And everything stores on so board. Easy. The wheels come with it. It's all Installations, together. just two bolts. Love everything it. wraps up and stays on board. All you need is your garden hose. Hook the garden hose up to the front. That's it. You're ready to rock and keep it clean, guy. That's right. The neighborhoods, all the neighbors They're are all be jealous like, of you. Why did you get that? Thank you, buddy. Absolutely. You, Enjoy Bobby. your purchase, yeah. All right, listen, we don't have time uh, to, to do a lot of the different things we wanted to do because we're running out with everything, but I did want to highlight one of the items that we had in the show, and that was our uh, blower from Works. <clears throat> I have five, six dozen left. Six dozen. Uh, you want to talk about huge power? It's the most powerful blower that we carry here at HSN. It's the one that I have. I actually have two blowers. I have an electric that I never use because I got to plug it into a cord. And then I have this one, which I use every day. It's got what they call an inline uh, jet style motor. So all the power is up front. All the, all the air is up front where the jet flow is. The power is in the back where the battery is. So you get the most effect. 130 miles an hour right here. That's it. So grab this thing. I got 50 left. All right, let's get our, can we go to the mailbox? Let's do it. Hey guys. Yes. You've got mail. Fantastic. All right, so we asked a question earlier, which is what's your favorite garden critter? Well, our winner today is Kathy O. Congratulations, Kathy. Kathy says, the critter in my yard are rabbits, but I really love all my butterflies. Oh, I have butterfly bushes all around my yard. I hope you got those from us. All right, that's it for me, everybody. I'll see you tomorrow morning. <clears throat> um, now that's clever. Stick around. Look at Valerie go. Valerie is, she is grooving it out over there. She's coming up next, and I'll see you guys tomorrow morning. See ya. <laughs> That's right, guy. You got to groove. You got to move. You got to celebrate because Joy Mangano is on sale today. All of Joy Mangano is on sale. My name is Valerie Stuff. I couldn't be more excited to take you shopping over the next couple hours. This hour is going to be insane. We have so many of her top-selling must-have pieces. And I've got to let you know, this is my 